that's my cauliflower cheese. it's me again Malbe cooking now I'm preparing for our dinner my dish for tonight is cauliflower cheese this is the cauliflower I'm just taking out the one in the middle so it's easy to cook because usually we don't eat those in the middle I think that's good enough that's good enough and then we will put this one we will just boil that this is the cauliflower and now we will just put this one here and then we'll add um, hot water And then we'll add just a little bit of salt just to give an extra flavor and cauliflower. We will cover this one, we'll simmer it for just a few minutes until the cauliflower is cooked. We'll simmer it for a few minutes. Now it's beautifully boiled. I think this one is almost finished. We'll see. Just a few minutes. A few a few minutes. Just a minute. And that's it. This is my beautifully boiled cauliflower we'll just take out from the water to drain it we'll just leave this one here. good look at that we'll leave this one here just for a few minutes or we'll let it cool down we'll let it cool down and then i will prepare for the white sauce now I'm preparing for the onion. I will do is uh, mix this one the mushrooms and in the onion just to give it an extra flavor on the cauliflower cheese because the taste of the mushrooms is really good you could put you can put also some um, if you have uh, bacon, you can put some bacon as well together with the mushrooms and the onion. If you will have the the, the bacon, that's going to be really tasty. But for me, I don't have bacon. I'll just use this one. Just the mushrooms and the onion that's good enough and now i'm ready to start for my cauliflower cheese and it is all the ingredients that i'm using of course that's the butter um, a slice mushrooms a lard which is the pork pot and a slice of onion and of course that is 
boiled cauliflower. And now what we'll do is we'll cook the onion, the mushrooms in the butter with a little bit of lard. And then later I will show you how I made my own white sauce. And then we'll add the just a lard and a butter. Just mix the lard in the butter. And now we'll add the onion. One of the onion I cut is quite big. Add a bit of salt so the water from the onions come out and we'll do caramelize the onion we'll saute the onion just for a few minutes until it's the good aroma of the onions come out Okay, the onion is looking good. Now what we'll do is add the mushrooms. a bit more of butter We'll just leave this one stir fry for a few minutes until the mushrooms is cooked and then for now I will just add a bit more salt and of course black pepper We'll add the seasoning. It's so beauty. Now that's all good. I will add a little bit of sugar just to caramelize the onion and then the mushrooms. Just to give an extra sweetness on the sauce later. Leave it for a few minutes. It's really, really good.
That's about it. And now we'll put this one aside and let it cool down. And then I will show you later how I'm gonna put this one and mix up with the other ingredients. Good. Now we'll do is we'll put the butter here and then let it melt. Now the butter is melted already, we'll add the flour. We'll just mix the flour slowly, slowly. It's just to make a roll. We'll add more flour. a little bit more now that is good We'll add the milk slowly, slowly. looking good and add more milk
make sure it's just looking good. We will just take out all those small, small lump. There's a little bit lump in there, but it will be okay. I'm creating two different cheese. I think it's good enough. I'm using the cheddar white cheese and of course this one is the Celtic red cheddar now what we'll do is continue with this white sauce We'll add a little bit of salt and we'll add a little bit of black pepper. It's good enough. Now the white sauce is really looking good. I think we'll add a little bit of milk. Okay. That's beautiful white sauce. Now what we'll do is we we'll add the cheese to make it more creamy, the white sauce. And that's the beauty that's all done and now what we will do is all of this caramelized onion and then the mushrooms we'll put this one underneath mushrooms and onions all inside and now what we'll do is put this boiled cauliflower like that mm. and what we'll do is we'll 
gonna pour all of this white sauce on the top look at that the white sauce that's a beauty lots of white sauce that's looking good now I put the tomato sliced tomato on top and of course well I'll put the cheese the grated cheese oh that's gonna be cheesy very cheesy cauliflower And now we'll do is add a little bit of oregano, dried oregano on top. Look at that. And this is my cauliflower cheese. I'll just put it in the oven. Just bake it for a few minutes just to just let the cheese to melt okay it's good and this is it that's my cauliflower cheese look at the cheese on top look at that still boiling that's so beautiful mm, yum yum Let's Come, eat. let's eat now, guys. That's really yummy. Come, let's eat. Let's eat, guys. Look at that. The onion and then the mushrooms. And this is my cauliflower cheese.